So let's discuss the current visa processing time from applications made outside the UK for the month of December 2023. We will be discussing in this video what's your processing time. So it will be great if you help each other. You put the visa category, submission date, and number of weeks in the comment section like this. So what is current visa processing time for the visitor visa? So if you have applied your visa application from outside the UK for the standard visitor visa, permitted paid engagement, marriage visitor visa, Chinese tour group and transit visa, the current process visa processing time is three weeks at the moment for the month of December. The visa processing time starts from the day you do your biometric and you receive a confirmation email that the biometric has been submitted. Now let's discuss the current visa processing time for the month of December from outside the UK for the study visa. For student visa, child student visa and study English in the UK. For all these three visa category, current visa processing time is three weeks. Now let's discuss the family visa. You have to submit it, the application from outside the UK. In that case, if it's a partner or spouse visa, it's 24 weeks. Many applicants do get confused because their partner is in UK and they apply from UK. But the spouse is currently in outside the UK. So it all depends where the applicant is, not the sponsor. So if the applicant is outside the UK, it's 24 weeks. Parent visa, child visa. Adult coming to be cared by a relative, they are all 24 weeks at the moment. For Ukraine and Ukraine family scheme, it is as quickly as possible. There is no date provided by the home office. Now let's discuss the work visa processing time for the month of December. So if you have applied for a skilled worker visa or health and care worker visa, current visa processing time is three weeks. This visa processing time again start from the day your biometric gets done and you receive an confirmation email that your biometric has been submitted. For innovator visa and startup visa, it's also three weeks. Now let's discuss the current visa processing time from applicant who have made the application from inside the UK for the month of December 2023. So, visitor visa is a standard 8 weeks, study visa 8 weeks and child visa is also 8 weeks. If you have made the application for partner or spouse, 8 weeks, parent, child, adult coming to be cared by a relative, it's all 8 weeks. If you have applied for a private life visa, then it's 9 months. For Ukraine and Ukraine Family Scheme, Ukraine Extension Scheme, if you are in the UK and you're applying that visa, it's currently depend on the Home Office and they haven't provided any date, but it's as soon as possible. The work visa or skilled worker visa is eight weeks and for the health and care worker visa is three weeks. For Innovator Founder Visa, for example, you are in the UK and you wanted to switch from student visa to innovator founder visa and you apply that, it's eight weeks at the moment. And for startup visa, it's three weeks at the moment. Now let's discuss when to what to do when your application processing time ends. Many people get confused. Many applicants wanted to know what to do after that. Um, I'll guide you over here. What to do? I'll go step by step. And in the end of the video, I'll show you how to do an inquiry, how to make an inquiry, paid inquiry with the Home Office by paying £2.74 to get your visa application, to get the updates on your visa application. You do not need to contact UKVI to track your application if you have already made a visa application and it is still within the current visa processing time. This is what provided by the Home Office. The Home Office also says you will get a letter or email to let you know that decision has been made on your application. 
I'll highlight over here that email usually comes in your junk folder. Make sure you check your junk folder. If you attended a visa application center, you should not visit one until you have been contacted. When you might wait longer, your visa application may take longer to process. For example, the information in your application is not accurate or requires further consideration. You need to provide further evidence, for example, evidence of funds. Your supporting documents need to be verified. You need to attend an interview. Further information is required on your personal circumstances. For example, if you have a criminal conviction, UKVI is experiencing increased visa demand. You will be contacted by a letter or email if we need more information on your application. That's what the Home Office says. This is the way you contact your home office. So the website is ukvi.mysecurepay.co.uk. I'll put the link of this website in my description as well. The best is you always go on gov.uk website and in the search section, write contact UK visa and immigration from outside the UK. Each inquiry costs £2.74. This cost includes your initial email plus any follow ups emails you send relating to the same inquiry. So for example, you have applied for a visitor visa and you haven't received any. You make an inquiry. You do not need to pay again for the second time you send an email. You only reply to that same email, same correspondence, because you have already paid £2.74. It says we will reply you within five working days, but usually they reply within 15 working days. They will get back to you on the reply that how long they will take to reply you. At the end of this, I'll show you how to contact, how to fill up this form um, to contact the UKVI. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I'll get back to you. But don't forget to put comments in the in this video. So if you're, for example, you have applied for the spouse visa, just put your spouse visa category your date of biometric and how long you've been waiting for. That will tell every other applicant the actual visa processing time by the home office. Once you're on this website, on this page, you will see this like a start button. So if I click start, then it will give me the option contact UK visa and immigration form outside the UK. What do you need help with? So general inquiry, refund or technical support so if i want refund if i wanted to cancel my application or have done anything like you know just withdraw my application then i'll click refund otherwise general inquiry so if i click general inquiry then i come on this page where what language do you use to get a reply so you will select your language you will provide your given name family name email address place where you making an application so if you have made like you done from mumbai you will put whatever the applicant center you have used is your inquiry about an existing application yes so you will select once you will select yes it will ask the reference number so make sure you have the application reference number if your solicitor have done your application get this number from them are you the applicant yes type of visa you will select and then after that nationality, date of birth, biometric date, which date you have provided your biometric, passport number, immigration, health surcharge reference number. You will find that on your visa application where you have paid the immigration health surcharge fee. Email address used on application, the one which you have used on the application and the inquiry, your visa is delayed, blah, 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 whatever you wanted to ask. If you want to get the inquiry about the administrative review or appeal or asylum, you will put all the details over here. Billing date, like your address, like the one which you have used on your card, you will provide all these details and then you will click continue. So you will have, as soon as you will click continue, you will end up on payment amount, payment details and confirmation. Usually people it says that we aim to respond within five working days, but people have confirmed me that they got the reply which says 15 working days. 